Good morning, Pisces. How are you? Thanks for being in my presence. Thank you very much. Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for all those who give me thumbs up who like me. Okay. Um, thank you for all those who get private readings. Uh, you asked me about my private readings. Um, you need to go check other people out and you know that my readings is nothing compared to what they charge and how they do it. My readings, my readings are video and they're not, I don't pre-do them and send them to you. They are videos and, um, I don't put a time limit on it. All right. Those who know that have readings for me know that my readings are the shit. All right. And they're reasonable. So, um, if you start looking down and start reading, you know that all the information is there. If you go into my web, you will know how much you charge to get a reading. All right. Um, you will know all of that. You just got to look and you get all your answers. All right. Um, for all those who go into my web to buy my jewelry, my jewelry are very nice and I got a necklace on now and I have very nice jewelry and they're not. It's good. They're reasonable. Okay. Um, I just want to thank everyone for being in my YouTube and my Pisces studio. Thank you so much. Um, know that this is a general reading. General role. Okay. And I have to say it over and over. It's a general reading. And it's a free reading. General and free. Okay? Yeah. General and free. And we do a lot to give you free readings. Alright? So, you need to know that. And I will say that until you get it through your head. It is free and it's general. Don't text me with craziness. Alright? And this reading is about where you're at. In your situations. You know, I always say God does my first three cards and that's what it is. Alright, so here we go. You got the Empress, alright? You got the Empress here, honey. Um, that is Venus. Okay, Venus. And that is a planet. So you know that is very, 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 very strong. You got the Four of Wands. Okay. The Four of Wands is a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. All right. And then you got the Eight of Pentacles, which is Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus is in the house. All right. All right, so you got the Empress. It's like you gave birth to something new. It's a whole new world there, and it is filled with credentials. It's filled with everything you want it to be. It's a major countess. Um... I don't know where you see yourself or what you're doing, but it is saying you are ready to give birth to an abundance, rich future. You went through a lot and you had it all mapped out, right? You really did. But it's saying, you know, the, the feminine, the divine feminine, Creativity, literally giving birth to a, a, a baby, literally giving birth, okay? Motherhood, um, sensitivity, nature, abundance, unconditioned love, going within your body, mind, and soul, okay? This is saying you are entering a time and a profound healing and blessing moment in your life it's saying you know healing and blessings if you feeling any lack of inspiration or 
possibility seeking to heal your physical temple and to nurture your soul by embodying the shine and creativity in your essence. Continue to move calmly and gracefully in the direction of that which whispers yes to you. This car often is telling you that you're on the right track, right? Keep growing the beautiful share. And it's telling you that it's, it's, you're giving birth to some something new, exciting. But you got to understand how you want to do this is there, okay? You, you, you had it all planned out. You wanted it to be the way you wanted it to be. Because you came into this place in your life where you could have had or, or have anything, but somehow, some way, you went through a little bump, right? You had it all mapped out, everything going right. Um, something like a little bump came along the way because this right here is saying what you where you were. Where you were, you gave birth to something brand new, right? Where you at is the four wands. The four wands, like I said, is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. It looks to me like you having a party here. A party. And I'm going to tell you something. When I look at this particular car, okay, a current situation in a crossroad. A current situation in a crossroad is you have a plan and you are giving birth to something new. And you still have it. It's in a baby stage. Or you've been working at this. Or wanting to take off what particular thing. Okay. Current situation, cross road. Do you understand? Current situation in a crossroad. Is something you want. Something you want to do. A plan that you have. But you got to remember. Sometimes we cross that plan, but then we get that little bump on the road. And then we get all worked up over it, right? Um, your foundation and recent past is this four of wands, all right? And the four of wands is... You know, the wands are um, people with the mouth and how they speak, you know, um, very about themselves or um, I am devoted to my, to my connections. And I celebrate the wonders of love blossom with the community. Okay, so with your foundation and recent past, okay, celebrate prosperity, an important event and milestone gathering of souls. Stable in your home, in a relationship, sometimes saying in a marriage. Okay? So, you've been working hard at this. Because it shows it right here. Current situation in crossroad. You are coming or doing something you've been wanting to do. Right? Right there. But maybe you came through a crossroad that had you stumble a little bit, right, through this right here. Everything 
seems to be going well, and then all of a sudden, boom, you get that little cross, and it's like, it could be you're walking, there's a little stone that you didn't even see, and there you go, you bend your ankle or something, like, damn, I ain't this little stone, that did. yeah, that's how it fell, right? And then, your foundation and your recent past is right here. It's right here. And it's saying, yeah, you're going to, through all of that, you're going to come right on up from that little fall. And you're going to, because it's something you wanted to do. And it's right here. It's something new that you wanted to do. Something to you, a business or anything. But you, everything's going well. You, you know what you want, but you just like stumble. It's like almost like you tripped on something. You ain't going to hurt yourself. You're just going to get up and, you know, wipe your little knees off and check yourself to make sure you ain't cut yourself. But it's, it's not major. It's minor. All right? Because I'm putting two together. Your current and your crossroad so that you can see that you got it going on. But you took a little step and you twist your ankle a little bit. And yeah, it hurt. Because, damn, man, oof, everything was going smooth, and now it's like, ugh, so it's like a little setback. But then you come into foundation and recent past, right here. It's like the right now. The right now. Foundation, the right now. This is current situation, and this is the right now. Do you understand? The right now. I'm going to make you understand a little bit better. So, you had a plan, right? And it was going good, but you just, it just, you know, you just, like, Tripped, but you're going to be all right because is your current situation in your crossroad. It's something that happened that you got a crossover and it just took you off balance a little bit. But I keep telling you, you still got that crown, right? You're fixing your crown because you tripped, but your crown didn't fall. You just tripped a little bit, right? So that's that. So then you're coming into your foundation in that recent past that where you sit right now. This is where you was at. And this is where you at. Right? You're looking at this like, okay, I am devoted to my work connections. And celebrating a wonderful a love and blossom with the community. So people are going to be looking at you. Perspiring. An important event and a milestone. Gathering souls. You're going to be stable in a home. In a relationship. Sometimes this is saying marriage. Whoa. Bring the noise. It's time to kick back and enjoy your abundance. You've been building a foundation. And after a period of what? Shifting. It's time to enjoy your well-deserving community in that blossom that they're looking at you grow. It's that awakening that you need it. Okay? Because sometimes we get in our head when things don't go right then. God is saying, the universe is saying, boom, let me just make you have that little trip, right? And then your crown is going, then you're like, whoa, 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 easy on me. Easy. Because everything was going fine. And now you took that little stumble on that stone that you thought, it was. it's a little stone, but it like bent your ankle. And you're like, ah, shit. You know? But it's all right. Because your current situation is that you're going to be all right. Because let me tell you something. The current situation is that you gave birth.
to something new. Literally something new. The crossword right in the middle of it is that you stumble on a rock. And your crown might have been a little tilted, but you're going to fix that like I'm fixing my head. You know what I mean? Making sure it looks nice and tight. Fixing myself, yes. Because, you know, I had to get that wake up from the universe that says, yo, check this out, Miss Lisa. You got everything going on, but don't get comfortable with yourself. Okay? And don't be taking, you know, time from where you was from the beginning of this when you had none of this. Okay, when well you started rock bottom and you got comfortable and just started ah, all over the place. All right. And you get certain situation and people like coming into your life where you no longer have that space to meditate, take that walk, nurture yourself. So God says, since you want to keep running around and doing this and that, that don't even matter. Let me bring you all the way down. All right. And take away certain things that you need outside of all this stuff that don't even matter. And now I got you sitting still because now you got to let everybody alone and go within. Because you need to go back to where you was at. And that's what I'm saying. All right? But then after all of that, you see yourself again climbing and being in a community. But now you're not going to forget that first come... Your meditation, spending time alone, doing this for you, going within. Because that's when your abundance come again. Because now you're going to look at life in a different way and say, I'm not taking up for granted anymore. And when I don't take up for granted anymore, then God gives me in abundance and prosperity, you know, and being stable. In my home, in a relationship, and new things coming. Because it says here, a whole new world. But God, when you get that whole new world, you got it all, and you act like you forgot who you was for within yourself, and you're giving everything, 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 and you forget you, you don't even have enough time to. Sit down and, and eat or whatever because you're so busy doing everything else that don't even matter. Then you go back in and it's saying, you know, you got the whole world, but um, you're going to stumble a little bit because I'm going to make sure you do because the universe is saying, I'm giving you all, but you got to understand, honey. You, you can't forget me. You can't forget yourself, right? Come back to it and then what? Then here you go. Because now you learn and you know that you can have everything, but don't forget to go in, then yourself and give yourself that devotion, that connection. So then you will have that celebration of wonderful love and blossom in your community and people that love you and people that want to see you rise in a relationship. In your career. What matters. Do you understand? In literary in a marriage. I don't know. Only you know that. Do you understand? Because what? I'm going to say it again. Right here. I am ready to give birth. To an abundance Enrich future. Okay. You're a very nurturing person. You're a giving person. You love unconditionally. You got that divine feminine. Creativity. That motherhood. That everything that people look within you to have. But you got to remember that you got to go body, mind and soul. And go within you got to give yourself that, that beauty of abundance and always available to you. It reminds you to find you and navigate that beauty everywhere within you. You are interested in entering 
a profound healing in a in a blessings in you that sometimes we lack from and we forget that that's what's got us where we're at right now in our life. We forget a lot of things. But then we go back, right? Because it's telling you right here. I devote this connection in the celebration of a one wonderful and love of blossom in a community. You're celebrating your prosperity, the importance, event, and milestones, gathering of your soul, kindness, stable, and in your home and a relationship. Sometimes it says literally marriage. Okay? Because let me tell you something. You can't forget the importance of the things, of simple things in your life. Getting caught up in the drama, the lack of harmony, feeling disconnected. You can't get caught into that. Because when you get caught into that, you forget everything about you and your growth. Do you understand? You cannot get into that. And that's when you give yourself that space to go within and grow and start all over. Do you understand? That is what's important. And that's what you need to space. And sometimes we need to go within and find that space. Because then after that, where you're heading is here. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay? The Eight of Pentacles. What is it? It's someone that's studying because I see books, I see candles. I see um, plant herbs. I see um, coins all over, everywhere. But God said, I'll give you a shake down until you learn what I'm talking about because you're not bigger than me. I'm bigger than you. Okay? With love, determination, I preserve and I become the person I long to be. When you master a skill, Okay, handcraft it. You putting everything to work. You're, you're progressing this. You're being patient and determined of your sole purpose. But don't see shortcuts in this. Don't do that. Don't be burned out or give up. Don't do that. Because if you be burnt out because you don't see it going your way right now, you just give up and don't do that because you come too long to do this. Because you're mastering the skill. You're handcrafting it. You're putting it to work. But you got to be patient and determined and do that soul search purpose. Okay, patient and determination are the best way to ensure your success. Mastering this skill, taking time to proceed, and don't take no shortcuts. That is not the best way forward. You got to build this in a strong foundation and study it, improve yourself. Because the more you study and the more determined you into it, the more you're going to see yourself growing from it. As you become the master, finding joy in your self-improvement and help you get there. When you master what you do, it's going to help you get there. But don't take no shortcuts. And I'm going to say it again. You come into something brand new, okay? I am ready for the, for the to give birth to your abundance and your rich future, okay? You got that? All right? You come into this. I am devoted to my connection and I celebrate the wonders of love blossom with my community. Okay? And I'm going to tell you again. Don't forget the importance of being simple and doing simple things. Getting caught up in drama, the lack of harmony, feeling disconnected is not getting you nowhere. You got to be the right, devoted.
Okay, you got to be devoted to what you're going to do so that you can see the blossom that you're going to share with a lot of people. Literally with a lot because it's saying this is literally in a milestone, being stable at home and relationship. It's literally saying marriage to some people. I don't know. Okay. But that is when you study everything without taking shortcuts and trying to put things together that don't even look right. You got to do it. You got to, you got to study it. You got to go in it. You got to get the um, meanings of what you want to do. Get the books. All right. Get the right ingredients to put things together. Just don't throw things together and think that's going to work. That's shortcut. But I'm telling you, you're coming into a brand new world that you are giving birth to. And they're going to be celebrating a lot that you're doing. Because people are going to be literally wanting to buy and get and ask you how to do things. This is it right here. All right. Literally a marriage. You're, you're coming together to work together in relationship and whatever it is, community, working together at something. People looking at you for being all that. Okay? But it's saying, go work in it. Study it. I mean, digest this. Okay? Open it up. Open that book up. Search it. Get more knowledge on it. Okay? Don't take shortcuts and start throwing anything together. I don't want to eat something that you just threw together and you just trying to make it fast and all. No, take your time with it. Because when you take your time with it, you're going to be successful. Do you understand? Very successful. And that's what I'm talking about. Being successful. Being where you want to be in your life. All right? Got the eight of pentacles. That's saying that you, you're there, honey. But it's saying a lot of study and a lot of searching you need to do. Because you got books there. You got everything there, honey. You got the candles. You got the books. You got the herbs. You got the computer. You got all kinds of stuff going on. But um, And it's something that you're giving birth to. It's your baby. It's what you want to do. And that's going to bring y'all, bring you together and, and, you know, and your family and, and having people working with you and coming to community, maybe meeting new people, maybe, um, you know, but don't take the shortcuts in none of this. Don't get all short about it. Come with it and come with it all. It says that the clocks is ticking, honey. Time is moving. And you need to be moving with this. And you're going to be making decisions. Okay. And you're going up them steps. And them steps are beautiful. A decision. A red carpet. All right. Major decisions in your life. All right. And it's got to do. Wow. With love. Hmm, okay. Time is, is clicking and it's saying it may be, it's like right there. And I'm saying you're giving birth to something new. This, and this it literally keeps saying literally marriage, I don't know. Um, community, coming together, don't take shortcuts. Following your dreams, doing what you want to do. And at the bottom of that, it says the time is moving along. The time is moving. Making decisions. You got the door, the red carpet, honey. The door in the red carpet. Do you understand the red carpet? The door, the two doors. And it's about two people. And in that middle car, it says, stop taking shortcuts. It said it. It says, come into stable relationship. Um, literary marriage. Hmm. And then it says study. So 
Um, you can be at a point right now where you feel like you you put everything aside to go with them because you felt like things were just working just too much on your plate and you just said, you know, let me just move things around a little bit. Let me go within and just see what's going on. Let me see the bigger picture for what it is. It says family. It says judgment, results, family, stress, get support. Again, you got the marriage card here. And it's right under... Um, this right here, the four walls, then after the four walls, you got that red carpet, then after that red carpet, you got marriage, and right here, it says community, relationships, um, it says, um, literary marriage, and hey, it says here, A decision. It's a red carpet, honey. Red carpet. That's serious. And marriage, right there. Commitment. A bond. Wow. On this card, a birth. Family, kids. Maybe someone's giving, having a real birth. It's got to do with family and um, something resolving in family stress, um, getting support about this. It says a birth, something new. Finding that with this family stress that you've been going through. Okay. And... Time is moving. It's moving, baby. Then I feel like you're coming into something very good. Very good. A community. People are happy for you. Um, relationships. Literary marriage. You're going to make that choice. as a red carpet there. Two doors. Um... Literary marriage commitment. Okay, it says forgive. It says forgive. Um, peaceful mind and heart, free from the past. Forget, forgive. Okay, um, I feel like you're studying something and you're going within. Okay. You're going to be good at what you do. Um, you're really going within. you studying this. You, you just, you put everything on the side to do this. Because you realize, hey, I need to get this right. But it, it, in the mix of that, <laughs> that love is there. That love is there. Is there. Um, and it says... Forgive, peace, mind, and heart, free from the past. You just, you know what you know. And just put it in God's hand. And free yourself from everything. And I mean free yourself from it. You understand? And Pisces, when I tell you this, free yourself from everything, free yourself. I'm not talking about, let's not, let's not get to going with the, oh, this, and I don't want to add, and I don't want to hear this. This is serious. Free yourself. Just be humble with yourself. Free yourself. That energy. Just free yourself. Let's not think about all of this other stuff. We're talking about self, body, mind, and soul. Because this is serious. Free yourself. Let's not finger point in all of that. Ain't no time for finger pointing all that. 
I think we finger pointed enough. Let let that be and let it let let's not talk about it anymore. Let's let that live and let it go. Okay? We don't need to talk about none of that no more. It is what it is. Free yourself. Free yourself. Okay? Your thoughts. Free yourself. It says this could be the one. You already met the romance partner that you seek. There it is. And I shuffled his cards. Shuffled. Yes, I am. And it says, passion. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. It says, new love. A new person has stirred your romance interest. Okay? But here... It has. Make effort. Great love is worth taking the step into guiding you to it. And this is someone that you know. And I'm saying it again. Someone that you know before. I don't know. Like I said, we are not going to keep going through all of this and that. I'm talking about go within. Let's, let's not talk about Everything that it already been. Let's just go again. Let's not talk about it. Let's not keep talking about it and thinking about it. Let it be. Okay? Go nurture yourself. Go nurture your spirit, your soul. Go nurture that. Take how you think is what it is. And what you think is what you create in your spirits, in your energy. So stop talking about it and thinking about it. Just let it go. All right, and I mean done, seal and deliver. Think about better things. Think about the flowers, the birds, the trees. Um, about what you need to do. Dive into that. Dive into into this. Dive into this, and everything else. Let it be what it is. Give into passion. I see. The cat, while she's playing music, the cat is chasing the butterflies and hearts all over. It's swimming with hearts all over the place. And she is just playing the music with that red dress. The red dress is your heart. It's your fire. Do you understand that fire in you? Okay, water magic. The cat is trying to get the fish in this picture. And she's in tune, and it got two fish on her book, Pisces, and she ain't even paying attention to the cup that is filling up, and she just letting the water go. Don't let love pass you, because there is a mountain there, but I see an opening there, an opening in between that, in the background. Don't let nothing just pass you by because you still in the dumb, crazy stage where you are um, not looking at it and not wanting. You just letting the water just overflow. Pick that cup up. Pick it up. Straighten your cup up. Get it right. All right? Because in the mix of you doing this, which is showing it right there, in the mix of you doing this, Studying, you know, remember that love is love, and that's the key. Love is love, and love is pure, and love is good. But you got to remember, it's how love comes into your life, and how you allow love to treat you because love is love. Love is pure. It's pure. It's good. It's healthy. Do you understand? Love is love. Define love. And define it in all the right words. And know that love is love. And that's real. Love is love. And when you can laugh and you can be happy, 
and that you know that you can define love for what it really is and you're not abusing the word love, but you respecting the word love is when it comes into play. Because I see someone here, red carpet, relationship, marriage, it's all, career all is there. But you got to know what love really means and apply it to your life the right way, a healthy way, a nurturing way, respecting it. And that's when you know that you found love. Do you understand? Okay. Oof. And there it is. Accept love. Love is love. <laughs> love is love. I tell you. Love is love. Honey, love is love. Yes, it is love. Love is love. I'm going to tell you, love, it, 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 it took you on a journey because you didn't know the meaning of love. Because you let your head, you let your feelings and your heads wrapped up because what you were seeing was a flesh. And that flesh is what you went for. You gotta understand that love is love. You gotta feel love. You can't find love. Love finds you. That's when you know it's right because love finds its way. You don't have to look for love. Love finds you. And how they say, whatever it is, it's gonna be. And that's so true because love finds you. You don't have to look for love. Love looks for you. And that's when you know it's real love. Okay? Love is love. Um, princess, you can be your own knight. And this is the main front of the deck. You done found the main front of the deck. You got the main front of the deck. You can be your knight. You can be everything to you. Everything you want to be, you got it. You have it all. You have it all. Don't take no shortcuts on you because you have it all. And I'm going to tell you again, Love is love. You don't have to look for love. Love finds its way. Okay? Let me tell you something. The great ending are what? Evolving. And that's so true. It, 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 she's reaching out. But she needs to know that the gray it's, it doesn't, you, it's gray, but guess what? That's all it is. And that too shall pass. Because she's reaching out. And what she says is, guess what? I'm telling you, it's crazy that the water is down here. And the boat is in the horizon. Do you get it? Look at that. Look at the picture. The boat is in the horizon. In the horizon, you don't see the boat. You're looking up. You're not looking down at the water. You're looking up, and that boat is in the horizon. As far as your eyes can see, my love. Do you understand? Because you are the night, and you are everything you need. Everything you need. And I'll tell you, you know what's crazy? I always go to the same place when I go visit the ocean. And I mark that place as love. 
And I won't take nobody but me to that place because I respect that place because I mark that place with love. And I've been there to that place that I hold on for a long time because I said, that's the place that we always need to go because it, it, it was fresh there and it wasn't so hot. But I made sure that that place there means a lot to me. And that's what I call love. And love is love. And love is the ocean. Because to me, there's no ending to it. And when I stare at the horizon, I see it for what it is. But that place that I go to, I only can go there. Because I stamped it and sealed it. And I made a promise to myself that that place means the world to me. And it's the place that I send the pictures of when I walk through that tunnel, it's a light on the other side. It always is. It reminds me that love is love. And I no longer have to look for it because when it comes, it's going to come right. But in the meantime, I will dig in myself to my baby. And my baby is my YouTube, my foundation. I don't take no shortcuts with my YouTube. I give you it all, 100% of me. I take this serious. It may not be a good day every day. I can't change who I am and I don't want to. Because my YouTube is my YouTube. It's my style. It's how I do it. And that's my baby. But in the meantime, the relationship and everything else, love is love. And I don't look for it. When it comes, it comes. But I got that place that I visit often on that beach. And it's that very special part that plays in my life. That I got the key to that little spot. And I keep it dear to my heart. And when I go there, I always send pictures. Because love is love. <laughs> it's love. And I don't fight love. I'm going to embrace love. I don't want to look for it. I want it to be right when God says it is, it is. You don't have to look. What is yours is yours. You understand? When you look for love, you're going to find it all in the wrong places. But when you open up your heart and you don't see it coming, there it is. Because love is love. It's real. It's sweet. Okay? Um... Castle, it's time to heal. It's time for healing, not war. And there it is. Do you see that castle? Do you see the sand, the greatness? It says, live right now for where you at. And let the war that inside of you go. Because I'm going to tell you again. When you surrender yourself body mind and soul and your thoughts and how you live I'm going to tell you again when you go into all of that you learn that love is love do you get it do you understand do you understand this That you can have it all. You can have everything you want. But don't seek it. Walk by faith. Because when you walk by faith. God is in the other end. 
And he's going to give you what is meant to be for you. And you ain't got to look for it. It's going to be there. In every level in your life. Because love is love. You can't buy love. You don't look for love. Do you understand? That you don't look for it. You accept it. When it comes. Because when it comes. It's going to come right. It's not what you look for. It's what you accept. That you go within your body, mind and soul. And now. You don't seek it. Because you already know. When you seek things. You don't find nothing right. But when you walk by faith. You find it all. In the light. And I wish I could share these pictures with you of what I mean. When I go to the beach and I walk through the light, I'm telling you, I took a picture and I thought I was taking a picture of the sun. And when I looked in my camera, I realized that it was a bird that was in the air in between these beautiful these, it wasn't even clouds. I don't know what it looked. It looked like it was almost like a water. And it was a bird on that sun. Right in front of the sun. Dancing. And it looked like it, it was clouds. But it looked like the, the bird was dancing in the water. Do you understand? I can't explain to you what it is. But all I know is I got that picture in my head that I would never let it go because I know I've seen the light. It was a bird that was flying in the clouds and the clouds looked like it was water. It wasn't cloudy. It was, it was just like the clouds and the water. And I was in that place that I always go to in front of that building that's got a crown on top of it and I look through that little right under the pier and I'm telling you the sun and when I took that picture I seen that picture do you understand that I don't need to look for anything I just know that when I least suspect it it's going to be there because love is love you can't force love you got to go with love you understand what it is? It's going to be. And what's meant to be for you is going to be. You got to embrace it and accept it. And that is your reading for the day. May God bless each and every one of y'all. And I love you to pieces. Okay. Thank you for your support. And thank you for supporting me in my studio. Thank you a million. And when I grow, you grow. Thank you. Respect yourself and love yourself. And know that love is love. And you don't have to force love. It will come naturally when you accept what it is. Body, mind, and soul. Your temple. I love y'all. Bye.